So hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. So I wasn't going to film this video or film a video like this this week but this week's episode was really good and I got a lot of people talking and I got a lot of people kind of conflicted to certain things and I've been getting a lot of comments that are kind of the same asking me the same kind of questions so I thought I would address them in a video. Okay, so first of all, the scene that everybody's talking about was it Dwight or Daryl at the end of the episode? I'm not going to lie to you guys, when I watched the episode I just presumed it was Daryl. Dwight didn't even come into my fucking mind. We had that scene earlier on in the episode where Daryl went to Jesus and he said, you know, where are they about Rosita and Sasha? So when I saw the figure at the end of the episode with a crossbow, I was like, it's Daryl! He's there! It's gonna be okay! Well, when I was editing and when I was reading tweets from people and talking to friends and stuff, I kind of... I don't know. When, when I was, like, thinking about it being Dwight, I was like, well, I don't know. I just presumed it was Daryl. But when you think about it, it makes more sense for it to be Dwight, because Dwight is at the Savers compound, he's there anyway. So it kind of had me like, oh, oh no, I don't think that was fucking Daryl. So at the moment I'm leaning more towards it being Dwight than Daryl. Um, there's a few people as well saying it could be Jesus. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't think the hair was long enough for it to be Jesus. If you look at the body, the top half kind of looks like Dwight, but the legs look like Daryl. This, this is going to sound weird, but Daryl has like distinctive legs. Do you know what I mean? He's got pure weird looking, not weird, but he's got very Daryl looking legs. I thought the legs looked like Daryl, but sure. Who knows? Maybe Dwight adapted Daryl's legs as well. I mean, he stole his vest. He, he stole everything else. So maybe he just fashioned his legs to look like Daryl too. Regarding Eugene, again, when I first watched the episode and when I saw Eugene um, reject Rosita and go back into the Savers compound, I was like, bitch, what? I was shocked. But Eugene is a very smart man. He's a very smart guy. He has survived this long in the apocalypse. Yeah, he did a lot of lying. He did a lot of lying to get to where he is. So I think that Eugene is still playing the game. I think he is still trying to get on Egan's good side, almost like an inside man or something like that. I, they're like, I just, I don't think Eugene would sell out that quick. I've said it before about Abraham. Eugene and Abraham were best friends. I don't see Eugene batting for Negan's team. <laughs> no pun intended, trust me. Batting, Lucille. But I don't see him switching sides that fast after Abraham's death. I just, I don't. You know, it's possible, of course it is, but I don't see that happening. So that's Eugene. And the Jesus thing, not the Jesus, the Daryl and Dwight thing. Regarding, uh, Sasha... <sighs> Phone, could you shush? Regarding Sasha and Rosita. Okay, you're, you're, shh. Regarding Sasha and Rosita, I feel like Rosita, I kind of lost touch with her character for a little bit because she was being really verbally mean to everybody around her. The things she was saying, I was like, bitch, dude, you can't say that kind of stuff. What are you like at all? I do understand why she was saying those things. I completely understand why she was acting out. She was dealing with grief, like everybody else in the group is. She's dealing with loss, not only for her friend Glenn, but she, dude, she was in love with Abraham. Yeah, he broke up with her, but she was in love with him. So to lose somebody that you love to another woman, and then to have the person you love die before you can tell them, hey, it's okay, I'm over it now, I'm not mad anymore. She's going to have to live with that guilt forever. And we saw that come out when she talked to Sasha. When she told Sasha, I never got to tell him that I was happy, that he was happy. So she's dealing with not only grief, but guilt too for how she acted. And people act really weird when, they're, when they feel guilty. They lash out at people around them. It's, it's a tough situation to be in. So I do understand why she was acting the way she was acting. But I did like that little conversation that we got between Rosita and Sasha where they sat down and they kind of had a heart to heart with each other. We learn a lot about Rosita's backstory, which I love. I love getting backstory for characters. I fucking love it. So we learned a little bit about her. We saw a softer side to her too, because she's always been this badass that doesn't give a fuck and whatever. But seeing her be emotionally vulnerable, it was really nice for a change, especially when she's been so shut off the last few episodes. So that was Rosita and Sasha. And at the end of the episode, when Sasha hopped the fence and told Rosita, like, you know, I'm, I'm doing this, whatever. Rosita, then that was like taking another blow because her and Sasha had just established they were friends. They just established they were going to help each other. And then Sasha risks her life to go in and try and kill Negan alone. So I think this was Rosita, like, we see how shocked she was and she runs away and she's crying. I think it's because she kind of has the feeling that someone else that she likes is going to die. Not only that, but she's still dealing with a lot of stuff and she didn't get to kind of 
have her moment of glory like she wanted. I mean, the whole shooting Lucille thing, that didn't go down so well. But I, like, that's another reason why Sasha and Rosita's mission I don't get. In one way, they're completely undermining Rick because they're ignoring whatever the fuck Rick is trying to do. We all know Rick is working hard putting plans into motion. But Rosita and Sasha just completely undermined that by going off themselves on their own mission. So that has me like, okay. But not only that, Rosita tried to kill Negan before. Do we all remember what happened there? Death occurred and it wasn't to Rosita. Rosita was there when Daryl acted out against Negan and Glenn got killed. She didn't learn anything from that. And she's still trying to kill him? Like, bitch! What needs to happen for you to get how things work now? I get that she wants to kill him. Me too. Who doesn't? Very few people don't want to kill him. Negan, that is. But she's going about it in such a reckless way. Now, speaking of the Daryl and Glenn situation, that's another thing that has people all up in arms and all up in a tizzy. I said it in my reaction video when Maggie said to Daryl it wasn't your fault when they hugged. I was like, okay, you guys, now are you going to stop blaming Daryl? Oh my God, did that trigger some people in the comments. Now, I'm not talking about my subscribers because you guys know that my channel is a place to express your thoughts, your theories and your opinions. You guys always do it so politely and with respect to other people and I love that. But there were a few people that probably found my channel, just, you know, stumbled across it. They don't get how things work on my channel and they just started name calling. They started fights with other people. I was like, whoa, could you chill? There's a way to express your opinion and your feelings without being a dick. So many people don't know that fine art of not being a dick. That kind of shit doesn't fly on my channel. I don't like it when people argue with each other or name call. No, not happening here. But anyway, when I said that, like, I meant... <sighs> when the Negan lineup was happening, and after Negan had killed Abraham, he went straight to Rosita and he had Lucille. And he was like, take a damn look. Rosita wouldn't look at it. Rosita was like defying Negan's orders. Negan was about to snap. All you need to do is rewatch that scene to see it. His temperature was dropping. His, his temperature was dropping. He was getting colder, was he? I meant to say he was losing his temper. He was losing his temper really fast as well. So I, I've always said it about that scene that if Daryl hadn't had defeated, he probably would have like fucking killed Rosita or done some other shit. Daryl only intervened to try to take the attention off of Rosita. Daryl is a selfless character. If you guys watch the show and have watched the show closely, you will know Daryl is a very selfless character. And had he known that his lashing out would have resulted in Glenn's death, there is no way ever that he would have done it. Daryl lashed out because Daryl thought, well, worst that happens, he's going to kill me. Who gives a fuck? He did not anticipate that somebody else, particularly Glenn, would have been killed. That was what I meant. And Maggie sees that too. Maggie sees that Daryl didn't know that was going to happen. And that's why she doesn't blame him because it wasn't his fault. Inadvertently, his actions led to Glenn's death, but it wasn't his fault. If you understand what I mean. That's my opinion. That is my opinion. It is completely subjective, that whole situation. Some people are like, it was Daryl's fault. Fuck him. And that's totally fine. That's your opinion. Lots of people think that way. I put up a tweet. Um, the Meryl Streep or the Meryl Strep, I don't know how to pronounce that woman's name. Can't pronounce it. But it's, you know, you know the meme, it's that one. So I put up a tweet where I said, Maggie, it wasn't your fault. Me, it wasn't his fault. Like I'm screaming it back, like I agree. And this tweet got kind of mixed reactions too. There was a lot of people going, yes, I agree, finally, blah, blah. And then there was other people going, I don't know, it kind of was his fault. And then there was a complete opposite, where there was people going, fuck you, it was his fault. I'm like, chill, calm down. If you're going to get that worked up over an opinion, you need to take a bit of a break from the interweb, I'm just saying. But yeah, that I think that's one of the most interesting storylines of the season because people are so divided over this. People can't make up their mind whether it was or wasn't his fault. Maggie doesn't think so. I understand why people would think it was his fault because, you know, dumbass hit Negan. The fuck were you thinking, Dixon? You weren't. You weren't thinking. But he didn't know it was going to lead to Glenn's death. And he's still dealing with guilt as well. Like you saw it in that fucking episode. The hug between him and Maggie. <sighs> that was such a beautiful scene and the acting was... The acting in the show just keeps getting better. Like we saw the episode with Lenny James recently and I was like, wow, the acting. And then this episode I was loving it until the Maggie and Daryl scene. And then I was like... Fucking hell, the act how does the acting keep getting better? I think it's because the char the actors have had seven seasons now to really get to know and identify with their characters. 
But this season, in my opinion, has just been fucking mind-blowing. Like, there's people bitching about filler episodes or stuff like that. Personally, I'm a very kind of take-it-as-you-get-it kind of person. I don't see episodes as filler. I don't see episodes as, oh, this is boring. I don't like it. <laughs> Lads, the actors, the people behind the show, the directors, all of the important people, they would not have wasted time on an episode if it didn't count for something. So something that you think is filler is something that a whole bunch of people put a lot of effort into making. Like, a fuck ton of effort. Every episode leads up to some moment. So an episode that you think, oh, this is stupid, this is filler, I don't need to watch this one. If you skip it, you're going to miss something important that's going to come up in later episodes. So I've never been really a person that's like, oh, filler episodes. There are episodes that I love more than others. Like this season in particular, the premiere, fucking hell, probably one of the best episodes in Walking Dead history, in my opinion. The episode we saw last week was all about Morgan. Again, fucking hell, incredible. And this week's episode, I loved this week's episode so much. It was a really emotional one and it was really rooted in more dialogue and interactions than it was action-y, if you know what I mean. There was a lot of action scenes, but personally I love the dialogue scenes more than anything because you really get to know characters more and you get to see different sides of them. But yeah, I just, this season so far, I mean, my favourite season has always been season four. That season just always stuck out in my mind. This season for me is probably my favourite so far. Every episode has had me like, fuck! It can't get better than this. And then the next episode comes along and I'm like, they did it. They've done it. They've tapped themselves. Okay. Oh, lads, I can't wait for next week's episode. I can't believe we're this close to the finale. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to spend my Mondays not watching The Walking Dead. What am I going to fucking do? I'm going to go mad. But I think that's all I have to say about this episode. There's just a few things I wanted to ch ch chalk. I tried to say chat and talk at the same time. So there was a few things I wanted to talk about and I think I expressed them there. I hope that they were clear for you guys because I know sometimes it's crystal clear in my head what I want to say and then I speak and you guys are like, what did you mean? So I hope that made sense to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, my channel is a place for interaction and talking and bouncing thoughts and theories off each other in the comment section. So leave a comment, let me know what you thought. You know, interact with each other, but politely. Don't be that dick that tells somebody to shut up. Your opinion is so stupid. Don't be that dick. Nobody likes that person. That person is like the fucking uncle that nobody really wants to talk to at the family gathering. It's like, dude, shh, be nice or shh. So yes, that is all I have to say for this video, you guys. I hope you guys liked it and found it <laughs> nice, I guess. All right. I hope you thought it was... I don't know what I'm trying to say anymore. I will see you guys... I might upload Friday, but I don't know because I'm working the next few days, so I don't know if I'll have time to do a video. So if you don't see me Friday, I will see you guys on Monday for my Walking Dead reaction.